For today's video, I just want to talk about a piece of software I've come across recently, which has just blown my mind in terms of how powerful it is. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you've listened to me for more than about five minutes, you will know that I talk constantly about the quality of audio. Now, this applies whether you're doing pre-recorded videos or as I spend most of my life doing video calls and as seemingly everybody in the world at the moment is um, are doing video calls as well. So that could be with friends, could be with family, and it could be with colleagues. And if you have background noise coming through on a call, then it is incredibly distracting. We end up telling people to go on mute. And I'm gonna do a separate video and watch out for that one, just to talk about why you shouldn't go on mute. And there's lots of reasons actually for it, some really important reasons why you shouldn't go on mute. but if you're not going to be on mute, then you need to make sure there's no background noise coming through, which is why I always wear a headset that's got a noise cancelling microphone. Now, these are fabulous. My wife is actually on a call in the other room. You'll be hearing good, clear audio from me. You won't be able to hear what's going on for her. But there's a couple of limitations. Now, first of all, there's a limitation on my side, which is that if there is excessive noise close to the microphone and depending on the environment that you're in, perhaps a coffee shop, it's still picking up some background noise from around you, even though it cuts out a lot of it. Um, and to demonstrate that, I'm gonna use a piece of baking parchment. Now this is noisy. Um, even if I just flex it a little bit, you can probably hear it because it's so close to the microphone. When I crunch this up, you should still be able to hear it. Okay. So that's with my noise cancelling microphone on and you can still hear me crunching that. Um, and the other issue that you get on calls as well is that some of the people on the call might have noise cancelling microphones. Certainly anybody that does regular video calls with me will have heard me talk about it often enough and have heard the benefits of it often enough that a lot of them have gone and bought them. And if you want to know what this particular one is, I'll drop a link in the description or in the comments below. But that doesn't help if you've got somebody that's on the video call that doesn't have a noise cancelling microphone. So you might be on a call, and I had this with a conference call last week where we had, I don't know, about a dozen people on the call, and two or three of them, as soon as they opened their microphone, you could hear a whole load of background noise coming through, particularly a problem with people who perhaps are in a flat, they're in lockdown with their partner and their child and pets, and you know, they may be in a busy city, they, you know, particularly as the weather warms up, they've got a window open, they might be a siren goes past there might be trains go past there's all sorts of reasons why you get background noise and if you're on a call with somebody like that and they don't have a noise cancelling microphone short of saying for god's sake buy a noise cancelling microphone there's not really been much you could do and then noise cancelling headsets aren't cheap even if you buy a wired one you're probably talking sort of 30 or 40 quid if you're talking about the bluetooth ones the kind of ones that i tend to wear you know, easily a hundred pounds or more. Um, they are fabulous, they are tremendously useful, but as I say, not necessarily an option for everybody. And certainly if you're listening to somebody like that, there's not been anything you can do. This piece of software called Crisp that I've come across allows you to apply noise cancelling to the person that's calling you. And yes, you did hear that properly without changing anything about their setup. You can apply noise cancelling to them so you can just hear their voice and not the background noise. Now, a limitation just to be aware of before I do this demo is that CRISP is designed to pick out human voices from background noise. So if the background noise is somebody else talking, um, particularly if, if the person is using, for example, their laptop microphone, and it's picking up both voices at, at a reasonably equal volume, you'll probably still hear the other person talking. But if the other voice is quiet, or certainly if it's something other than human voice, it cuts it out really well. So I'm now going to turn on the noise cancelling in Crisp. And this is applying noise cancelling to my microphone, because obviously it's difficult to demonstrate it with somebody else calling me, but you should be able to hear the difference. So this is still coming through my Plantronics, and I'm going to take the piece of baking parchment and do exactly the same thing, okay? So you should have heard a difference there on how much noise you can hear. And just to prove that this is the Crisp software and not my noise cancelling headset, I'm going to switch across to the microphone that's built into my laptop, so it's kind of as basic as the microphones get, and I'm going to do the same demonstration. So I've now switched over to the microphone that's built into the laptop and I've got the crisp noise cancelling on. Now this 
should be quite interesting because my wife is talking in the room next door and there's only a set of glass doors between us so it's not a solid wall I can hear her reasonably clearly I'm going to take the piece of baking parchment and I'm going to crunch that up and this is using my laptop microphone I've taken the headset off just to prove that's what it is okay so that's that so again you know, and when it slips this, then front slip back up again. And that's the noise cancelling done through crisp. So as I say, the what you heard there, the difference in the background noise that it was picking up, it can apply that same AI algorithm, that same artificial intelligence algorithm to the audio feed that's coming through to you. So if you you are talking to people and another great example of this, and I actually did a little post about it is if you are working in a call center or you run a call center, you're the oper maybe the operations director of a big UK PLC. And the one I post about was actually uh, an energy company where their operatives are working from home. Again, those operatives may well have noise cancelling headsets on, but if they're spending all day and again, this applies whether the, when they're back in the office as well talking to customers at home who have background noise coming on and you're struggling to hear them install this software on your call center operatives computer and it then cuts out the background noise for the customers that you're talking to just think about that think about the power of being able to have intelligible calls without background noise with the customers that are ringing you i think that's that's just absolutely fabulous so Hopefully that demo has given you an idea of what is possible. I will drop obviously the, the link to the software down in the description or in the comments, and you can try this out for free. You can download the software. If you follow the link, you can download it for free. You can run it for a couple of hours a week on your laptop for free, a couple of hours worth of calls. Um, then if you do want to keep using it, if you want to be able to use it for more than that, then it's just a very small uh, subscription. If you pay yearly, I think it's like $3.33 a month. You know, it's less than a dollar a week um, per user for this thing so it's it's cheap but it makes such a difference and I'm now using it on all of the calls that I do say in addition to the noise cancelling microphone but predominantly to cut out background noise from people I'm on a call with that don't have a noise cancelling headset or a noise cancelling microphone. Hope that's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.